can be joining the team. Tell me about it. Yeah, it's a good news for, for the team that uh, Joe will uh, join the team for 22. Um, it was a quite a long process, but uh, now we reached a decision and uh, it's a good opportunity for, for the team. What are the targets for him and what are the expectations that you've got for him? For sure, it will be a challenge and uh, to start in F1, it's never uh, an easy one that uh, you know that we have a limited uh, number of tests there, but he's talented, he's doing well in F2. He's uh, still in uh, competition for the, for the title with Oscar and that uh, I think that he has everything to, to be successful in F1. That now that um, for sure it's a challenge, but it's a challenge for everybody. That, um, you spent some time, many weeks in fact, kind of deliberating over this decision. Why did you ultimately go for Jay? I think, as, as I said before, that he's a front runner in F2, that they have still two races to go, he can still be champion at the end, and also for the company, for the team, and I think even for the F1, it's a, a mega huge opportunity to have the, the third Chinese driver on board, and uh, I take it really as an opportunity for everybody. How difficult was it to make the decision to let Antonio go? Because he's obviously been quite a big part of the yeah, team. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's never easy that we had a very good relationship with Antonio over the last three years, that, uh, that he did a good job with us, that he improved a lot. Uh, and at the end, we had to take a, to take a decision that, uh, you know, that we have two good options. It's never easy, but uh, we took the decision and I uh, wish the best to Antonio. When you get the opportunity to start running him, because I know he's an Alpine driver at the moment, how quickly can you integrate him? And have you got a plan in place of how much time you'll spend at the factory, getting the car, that kind of thing? We have to fix some small details with Alpine, that, uh, but uh, we have good relationship with them. And I think that uh, we will find a solution. And as soon as he will be released from Alpine, that we'll uh, try to, to do the best for next year and to prepare the next season in the best condition. It means that he will have to come to the factory to do a sit fit and to prepare Abu Dhabi if we can run together in Abu Dhabi on the post-season test. He's obviously, like you said, having a really strong F2 season, but it's also great to have a Chinese full-time driver in Formula 1. Yeah, I think on both sides it's an opportunity that on the sporting side that he's doing well and on the commercial and sponsorship side that it's a, a mega huge opportunity, but it's true for the team, but I think it's true for all the F1 circus. Have you already found out in the discussions how useful it will be to have a Chinese driver in the team? Uh, we are starting the process, but it's a long one, I think. <laughs> a complex one, but uh, no, no, but uh, I'm, I think that we will enjoy the next uh, uh, months and the next season because that it's, uh, it's I, I, again, I take it as an opportunity and uh, we have to jump on the opportunity. What has Valtteri said about the news? Well, I think that he, honestly, that uh, he doesn't care about the teammate and uh, it's the right attitude that uh, it's important for him to, to, to know that uh, the decision is done and that we can move forward and uh, now to, to be fully focused on 2022. And I think it's, uh, it's more this than the choice of the driver, that the choice of the driver when you are focused on performance, it's not an issue. Was it quite important for you to have a blend of experience and youth, especially heading into 2022? Yeah, the combination that we, are, we had the same in, uh, with uh, Charles and Marcus uh, a couple of years ago and then with Kimi and Antonio. It's always a good one. To start with two rookies is quite, sometimes quite difficult because that, uh, with six days a day, if you have uh, some reliability issue or, or weather issue as we had uh, two or three years ago, it's uh, becoming very, very tricky. But, uh, at least with uh, one experience coming from uh, uh, Mercedes and, uh, and Joe coming with the F2, it's a very good balance and um, I can't wait. What was the reaction inside the team? I think that every first everybody is happy that the decision is done because that now we can be focused on, uh, on the next page of the, of the story of the, of the team and the next challenge. And uh, I think they will all enjoy to, to work with Joe.